News 46 is brought to you in part by... Discover the wisdom of the world throughout the ages at Mystical Healing Metaphysical Bookstore. It's your starting point to discovery. With books, crystals, music, candles, jewelry, clothing, and gift items, you're sure to find what you're looking for. Mystical Healing, 1230 South Loop Road, 775-727-0999. On Carlton, just across from Saddle West. Most people carry a cell phone with them at all times. As you're egressing out, call 911. That way we can also hear that everyone's out of the house and you make sure everybody's safe. And once you're out, go to a safe area. Don't be right next to the structure because bad things can still happen. And what about teaching your kids how to dial 911? Um, a little bit about uh, escape routes out of the home. Yeah, we, that's something we go over with the children in their schools, uh, but parents need to reinforce it. That's our partnership with the parents. We're here to help them succeed in making sure that our families are safe. And so we practice with the kids on a regular basis. We go out to their schools. Every opportunity we get, even if we go to a school for an alarm system and, and the kids have been safely evacuated as part of their drill and, their, and their, their plans and processes, we still try to use it as an opportunity to, to meet with the kids and talk to them. We'll bring them up to the fire truck and say, hey, what do you do in this case? So we kind of quiz them. And um, we find them very, very receptive. Well, they have fire drills at school, but mm -hmm. home? Well, the home's the challenge, and that's yeah. just it. We, we we're hoping that they take the message back to the parents, but we also meet with the parents. Mm -hmm. And it's very important, and again, we form those really important partnerships. And, and what do those partnerships really forge? Number one is if the parents think that they have a problem with whether the kids and possibly what we would call a juvenile fire setter or it has a curiosity about fires, if they get contact us, we will do everything in our power to help them manage that system. We will come out to the house. We will bring them into the fire station. There's a number of different means and methods. Now, if we're starting to see a pattern of repeat, mm -hmm. then there's more formalized processes both in the department and external. Let's talk about kids who, or, or other people who are having problems lighting fires. Mm -hmm. um, Let's say there's a difference between a, a person is having some issues with lighting fires. How do you distinguish, do you distinguish, and do you call if your kid has even lit one fire? Yeah, and yes, and the answer to your last question first. Mm -hmm. If your child has set a fire on your property or in your house, you should notify the fire department no matter what. Mm -hmm. First of all, it gives us a report and allows us to generate funds and things like that for juvenile fire setter programs across the country, but they need those statistics to know what ages are affected by juvenile fire setting so they can get the appropriate resources given those age areas or age categories. Mm -hmm. So the information is critical. Number two is fire curiosity mm -hmm. is a huge issue, but what we want to do is we want to manage it at that level. In other words, what is the, 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 identify the issue, remedy the issue, and then monitor for effectiveness. So let's say you as a little girl, you had intervention where the fire department came out, they spoke with you in the presence of your parents, reinforced fire safety to you, and lesson learned, and you go on and you no longer set a fire. That's a successful outcome. Does it give your kids a record? I mean, people Not a criminal record, no. Turning in your kids and instead of them handling it, well, and, and I appreciate that approach with parents, I do, and a lot of times that's effective, but in some cases it's not. And so there you need to take it to that next level. But even if the parents feel that they have successfully remedied that problem mm -hmm. through whatever corrective actions that they've employed, mm -hmm. we should still have a notification made to us, and that way we can go out and at least talk with the parents and follow up with them saying, are you having any additional problems? They said, no, I think the problem's solved. That's a great outcome, and that's what we want. 